Hey guys, let's get more news about Dallas, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Jeremiah Trotter refuses to wear a Dallas Cowboys jersey if his son was drafted by the team. On a recent episode of Takeoff with John Clark, Jeremiah Trotter Jr. and Sr. reflected on the hard-earned draft dreams. When asked by the host what Jeremiah Trotter would do if his son Jeremiah Jr. got drafted by the Cowboys, he replied, I told him, I can't wear that jersey. I can't put on a Dallas jersey. I just can't do it. Following is the summary of that episode. This is a video interview with Jeremiah Trotter, a Hall of Famer linebacker who played for the Philadelphia Eagles, and his son Jeremiah Trotter Jr., who is coming out for the NFL Draft. The video is hosted by John Clark. The Trotters talk about Jeremiah Trotter Jr.'s journey to the NFL Draft and how it mirrors his father's journey 26 years ago. Jeremiah Sr. is excited for his son and reflects on his own draft experience. He talks about the sacrifices he made to get to the NFL and the lessons he learned from his dad, who was a coach for a youth football team. Jeremiah Jr. says he always wanted to be like his dad and started watching him play when he was young. He credits his dad for teaching him the linebacker position and the work ethic needed to be successful in the NFL. The interview also covers how the NFL has changed since Jeremiah Sr. played. Jeremiah Sr. says that linebackers today are smaller and faster than they were in his era. He also says that the training is different now, with more emphasis on technique and playing in space. The Trotters both express their pride in each other. Jeremiah Sr. is proud of his son for carrying on the family legacy, and Jeremiah Jr. is proud of his dad for his accomplishments in the NFL. The interview ends with Jeremiah Sr. talking about his retirement from the NFL. He says that he knew it was time to retire when he no longer had the desire to stay in shape. Typical Cowboys signing injured Connor Williams? Connor Williams is from Koppel and grew up a literal football toss away from the former headquarters of the Dallas Cowboys in Valley Ranch. The 2018 second-round pick began his career in Dallas before cashing in on a free agency move to the Miami Dolphins. And in Miami developed a talent for not only playing guard, but also center, the position at which he became a standout for the AFC power. He's in free agency now, he's just 26 years old, and fully available, but getting no bites. Why? The former University of Texas standout is just a few months removed from an ACL injury that now clouds his availability for the 2024 season. Add it all up and include the coming NFL draft search for the next Tyron Smith and the next Travis Frederick and maybe with only a hint of sarcasm, one NFL source tells CowboysSI.com of the idea of Dallas reuniting with Williams, that'd be a typical, Cowboys, signing okay, maybe a lot of sarcasm. Williams agent Drew Rosenhaus recently did a Miami radio interview in which he acknowledged the long rehab road ahead. I do think that we're going to be very methodical and take our time relative to the contract, Rosenhaus said. A lot of it may be predicated on how Connor is feeling physically. He may not be a player that signs at the very start of free agency. He may take more time based on how he's feeling physically, the agent added, Connor's situation has a you-know-a degree of uncertainty that's going to be tied to how he's feeling. And really, we'll just take it one day at a time once we get into the offseason, that remark has led to understandable speculation that Williams, who the Dolphins would like to bring back, might retire from the NFL. But at 26, and playing at a Pro Bowl caliber level, as all Dolphins at SI notes, before the injury? It is also understandable that a team might bargain hunt here and bet on the come on a Williams recovery. And yes, Dallas is traditionally in on such bets, especially if they are cost-effective in what Cowboys COO Stephen Jones calls an inflated market that is early days NFL free agency. Connor Williams can be somebody's long-term answer at center. But it might take a long time for him to get back there and maybe the Cowboys will envision him being worth that weight. Cowboys could be realistic landing spot for big-name free agent. 
The Dallas Cowboys haven't done much yet in NFL free agency, but that's mostly because they can't. The Cowboys are strapped on the salary cap and don't have much wiggle room to make moves, but they might be able to as the offseason progresses. The Cowboys currently have a glaring need at the left tackle position following the departure of former first-round pick Tyron Smith, a franchise staple after being picked back in the 2010 NFL Draft. Smith bolted for the New York Jets, where he will now be the blind side protector of Aaron Rodgers. So what are the Cowboys going to do at the left tackle position? The options at this point are still pretty wide open. The Cowboys have the 2024 NFL draft ahead of them, but they also have the ability to let free agency come to them as the offseason progresses. One possible big-name addition they could make is former Green Bay Packers All-Pro David Bakhtiari, who was released earlier this offseason to save the Packers $20 million in salary cap space. Bakhtiari has not played much over the last handful of years, but does intend to keep his playing career going in the 2024 season. A player like Bakhtiari could end up being a great value for the Cowboys. Having him in the fold would not come at a bad price at all, and the timing could be exactly what both the player and the team need. The Cowboys may need a stopgap, depending on what they're able to do in the 2024 NFL Draft. Although this class is loaded at the tackle position, the Cowboys may not be picking high enough to be able to get the day one starter they need. If Bakhtiari wants to continue playing, the Cowboys may offer the clearest path to playing time and their financial situation dictates they will need to go with a budget-friendly option. And perhaps he could oblige in that area. There's an obvious, significant connection between Bakhtiari and the Cowboys' Dallas head coach Mike McCarthy. McCarthy was Bakhtiari's head coach once upon a time in Green Bay. The thinking going into this offseason was that Bakhtiari might be able to leverage his ties to Aaron Rodgers into a job with the Jets, but the Jets obviously have gone a different direction. Perhaps the ties that bind in Dallas could end up coming into play for Bakhtiari in 2024 NFL free agency. It's a rarity when an NFL team uses the same starting five offensive linemen for all 17 regular season games. With a naturally high injury rate at the position, offensive lines are usually only as good as their second stringers. There may be no better example than 2023 New York Jets, who used 12 different starting five combinations over a 17-game regular season schedule. New York started six different players at right guard and five at right tackle. Although five starters appear in place on the Jets' refurbished offensive line, general manager Joe Douglas's work is not done when it comes to ensuring protection for 40-year-old field general Aaron Rodgers. New York has room to add a battle-tested tackle to back up the team's two accomplished, aging bookends. Left tackle Tyron Smith and right tackle Morgan Moses are both 33 years old and neither played a full 17 games last year. Smith, an eight-time Pro Bowl honoree, has struggled to remain available, missing 37 total games over the last four years. After logging eight straight full seasons, Moses, who spent the 2021 campaign as a Jet before moving on to Baltimore, missed three games in 2023. Prior to the Smith edition, all signs pointed toward the Jets using their first-round draft pick on a top-tier offensive tackle prospect. Even with Douglas choosing not to wait until the draft to acquire two starting bookends, offensive line is still a somewhat likely possibility at number 10 overall. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation David Bakhtiari? Leave your opinion in the comments.